Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Valkyria Chronicles. Last time, um, uh, the Feast of All Spirits, and we got a new mission coming up. So we're going to do cutscenes. Alicia's Gift. Oh, and by the way, I love how the Feast of All Spirits is basically like a reverse Valentine's Day where the girls give presents to guys. That would never happen. Pfft, that would never happen. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just too open. We need some kind of plan. Welkin! Harold! What happened to you? You're covered in dirt, Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> Funny story about that. Anyway, I've got something I want to show you. Come see. Look real close at my hands. That's... You found a mottled vagabond. They're migratory butterflies, but they shouldn't be in Galia at this time of year. It's pretty rare, then? They call it a vagabond because it never stays in one place. They're hard to find. I've tried to hunt one down more than once before, but I never had any luck. Then you like it? Absolutely. Thank you, Alicia. But you've still got to tell me how you found it. I I'm amazed. Me and Hans caught it. Marlog! You and Hans? Wait, is all that dirt? <laughs> I've never been bug hunting before. I got a little mud plastered. I mean, tomorrow's the Feast of All Spirits. I wanted to get you something you'd like. I brainstormed on what you might like best, and this is what I finally came up with. Wow. Thank you. Not the most romantic gift ever, but it seemed right for you. You went to all that trouble for me? Thank you, Alicia. I'm happy I got to see such a rare specimen, but I'm even happier at the sentiment. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Um, Welkin? They say if you give a present to the guy you like on the feast, things will go well for you. I hope things go well for the two of us. I, I mean... Huh? I... Me too. See, and there, that's yet another reason. Um, I love this game so much, even though I play a lot of games based on anime. One of my most hated um, tropes in anime is the whole unrequited love thing. Finally, a game where that doesn't happen. God, that's so refreshing to see an actual couple. You know what I mean? It's like, like they are actually acknowledging each other. They actually have feelings for each other, and it's like they're not being shy about it. Well, they're being shy, but, you know. They're shy, but they're actually acknowledging them. Thank God! Anyway, tomorrow. Sara, I don't think Rosie really meant to hurt you. No, I... I know that, Mr. Zaka. But I do wonder if dreams of a future in which we're all equal will only bring pain. No, don't get impatient on me. Getting close to somebody takes time, Isara. People don't just change overnight. That said, nothing in this world doesn't change. Yes, I know. Even if slowly, change will happen. Exactly. So don't let it get you down. She's just worked up over tomorrow's operation. Tomorrow's op? Oh, that's right! I need to speak with Welks about the plan. 
What plan? You come up with a solution for those guns? If we modify something I've been developing, it may provide our ground troops protection. I'll go speak with Welks about it now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, Isara. And she's gone. Those two really are siblings. They get into something and they're in their own world. Gee, I wonder what she's developing. I hope it is explained in this cutscene. Spoilers, it'll be explained in this cutscene. Hey, boss. We, uh, got a plan today? Well, Isara and I came up with a little something last night. Speaking of, Isara still isn't here, is she? I apologize for being late. Welks, it's done! You finished in time. Yes, these smoke rounds should help keep our foot soldiers safe from fire. Smoke rounds? A new type of tank cannon rounds. They don't do any damage, but they create a smoke screen. If we run through those, we'll be able to move without being sighted. And you just finished them now? <laughs> so you didn't sleep at all last night, huh? The Sevens are like my family. Alicia, Rosie, Largo, Mr. Zaka, Welks, little Hans too. I don't want... None of you can die. If those smoke screens can protect you even a little, it'll be well worth it. Isara, you... Nice going, kiddo. With these things, we'll be practically invisible. Yeah, this battle just got a lot less scary. Thanks, Isara. All right, let's get ready. Squad 7? Move out! Alright! We got a plan! Battle with Marbury Shore! Let's do it! Finally! Ugh, that was a lot of cutscenes to get to the thingy. And thank god this one isn't as bad as Falzon. Ugh, it's tough, but it's not as bad as Falzon. Oh my god. Here is a brief on the task at hand. The enemy is entrenched behind hefty defenses along the top of the sheer rock face. Your only path to the enemy lies across the bridge. I mean, uh, this beach. Wow. <laughs> You'll begin at this entry point and work your way toward the enemy camps. Your objective is to occupy the enemy base camp, as always. Climbing the slopes leading from the water and make... Or, climb the slopes leading up from the water and make a beeline for that camp. There are two things to look out for along the way. One is the enemy machine gun emplacements all along the coast. Use your tank as a shield and keep the smoke screen rounds coming if you want to arrive in one piece. The second issue is the concrete defensive bunkers that lie behind, beyond the crest of that slope. They're incredibly resistant to attack and may take quite some time to take out. It'll slow you down. They do have a weakness, though. You can do major damage to them by attacking the gun at the front of the rear doors. I mean, attacking the gun at the front or the rear doors. They may well have backup stores of Ragnite fuel out back. If so, a well-placed gunshot will be able to set it off. If your shock troopers have classed up to elites by now, which... Yeah, well, I'll get into that. They've classed up to elites by now. You can also use their flamethrowers to take them down. Those flamethrowers are also effective against crouching foes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you remember how I said that there was a point where you would usually have elites? This is that point. This is the mission where you normally have elites. All the way at this mission. It's friggin' insane. So I'm actually not gonna bring any uh, mortars in. I'm gonna bring uh, lancers. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and bring uh, Catherine. Just to have her. Ramona. And let's go ahead and get some more uh, shock troopers here. Got two lancers, two scouts, three shock troopers. Oh, I could use... Uh, I'm gonna get... um. Carl. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, okay, I'm good. Uh, do I need a sniper? I don't think I need a sniper just yet. I'm actually going to drop Catherine, and I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, I'll get Lynn. Okay. Ugh. I'm going to bring a sniper. <laughs> I feel so weird without a sniper. God. Okay. Deploy. Now, let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. You're confident? Uh, you're not the one controlling this. I'm confident. Because I got a smoke screen, bitch. Okay. Come on, jeez. This isn't that big of a, there we go. Clear out the Imperial shoreline defenses. Squad seven, move out. We can hear you boss, you don't have to yell into the radio. Jeez. Player phase. Here we are, on the Marbury Shore. There really isn't any cover at all out here. Wilkes, aim the smoke rounds at the ground or at objects, not at the enemy. That should spread the smoke screen around that area. Got it. I'll do what I can. My shamrock can't fire smoke rounds, but I'll pick up the slack on offense. That's right. This is our first op with you, Saka. Good to have you. Wouldn't miss it. Now let's go sock one to the Empire. So who's driving the shamrock? Anyway, uh, this is the Edelweiss, and over here is the shamrock. Um, Zaka's tank is nowhere near as big as the Edelweiss. It's kind of like a light tank. Uh, we're going to get into that more later. So let's start out with the Edelweiss. The smoke screens will dissipate a short while after they're fired, Welks. Plus, a blast from a mortar, grenade, or anti-tank lance will blow it away instantly. How do you know that? Understood. Let's be careful. Did you test that? <laughs> Where did you test that? Where did you have the time to test th yeah, Whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, th it basically just becomes another thing. So, anti-armor, uh, your mortar, uh, machine gun, and then smoke. So, you've only got one shot per round, so you're going to want to position it right. Um, I would position it actually here on these uh, tank traps here. This is a good way to spread it over a large area. So, go with that. Poof. Oh, crap. Uh, that other gun can still see me. Well. So, when you move into the smoke screen... Um, the camera goes like that. Uh, it becomes very hard to see. So, um, yeah, it becomes hard to see. Anyway, um, well, I sure hope that I don't get shredded. I might actually have to wait on these guys. But I can take these ones up, I know that. This is not a desert! It's a beach! Oh my god, Rosie! You're worthless! <laughs> what the hell? Are you kidding? It's a beach! Ow, 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 ow! Okay, so I got my good flamethrower. Good. So I was worried about. I hope I didn't bring my crappy flamethrower. Okay. Oh, come on! Ow, stop it! Bastard. So, uh, once you get enemies to about this point, you know, once you get them up to the camp, you don't need to worry about these guns. Uh, these ones cannot be destroyed. Invulnerable guns. Um, they can't be killed, so you just gotta avoid them. Um, I know what I could do. Okay, I got an idea for what I could do. Now, this is a... This, I highly... You know how I was talking about you should have elites uh, earlier? You should absolutely have elites at this point. Um, you just, you want to have the elites. 
Oh, let's see. Can I... I want to see if I can nail this guy through the smoke. Aw. Oh. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if I killed him. Um, you absolutely want to have elites at this point, because that way you can move the units up to where they need to go. <laughs> Just, you don't want to be short here, you know? Because you will waste a lot of CP moving your units up to this camp. If you're not elites. Okay. Ow, stop it. And this is where they start having elites. So you're going to want to be careful here if you don't have elites. Don't even think of dodging. <laughs> Suck it, bitch! Think you can stop me? Oh, good. That's nice. Ow. Occupy the camp. Yay! Okay, so this is, um... This part... Oh. Uh, what? All right, we've cleared the beach. Yeah, one unit has. We managed to avoid the threat of the enemy's machine guns, at least for now. Yeah, one unit did. Okay. Um, honestly, this is not a bad spot to put the smoke screen. It's just, um... I'll do my best. I guess it was a little bit further away from that gun. I didn't realize that. Because I remember putting it there, um... You know, the first time I played through the game. So, I guess I just thought that that would be correct. And it is, but, you know. Ow, ow, ow! Some bitch! Okay, let's see. Go, Carl! Do it! Damn! Good shot! Phew. Oh, don't... Phew! Me! You were doing fine. There we go. Good. So Carl is up. And he killed a unit. That's great. Um, okay. So now that you have the Shamrock, uh, the Shamrock is another leader unit. So we have enough CP to move all of our units now. Leave it to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can take him over this way and try to provide a little bit of cover if I can. Crap. Well, he's not shooting at me, so maybe he doesn't see me? Whatever. Um, so, this gun, or this tank, is a little bit different than the Edelweiss. Uh, we're going to be able to customize it a lot more than the Edelweiss a little bit later. But for now, it's pretty much just another tank. Um, which isn't bad. Tanks are good. <laughs> Tanks are very good. Um... But later on, uh, it'll be much different. <laughs> we got guts on our side. Oh, damn it. What did he say? He said, oh, something, something. We got guts on our side. Okay, don't kill me. Oh. Okay, I guess that works. Fine by me. And hell, if you leave your tanks right here, you can just have cover. Except from, well, not this gun, but, you know. Okay. Now, um, let's say you are advancing and then your smoke screen goes away. The first thing you want to move is your tank so that you can immediately um, put it back. You know, you don't want to. Okay, I'm on top of it. You don't want to advance while the smoke screen is down. Obviously, that would be stupid. But uh, that way, the guns will not shoot at your infantry at all. Uh, we're okay. Thank God. I thought I couldn't get through there for a sec. <laughs> that would suck. I'm going in. Cover me. So, um, we can't really do anything with that tower just yet. That's where I'm going to put Catherine. Um, I'm going to put Catherine in the tower and see if I can't help a bit with her. And then, um, if I can't do anything else with her, I'll just have her retreat. So, yeah. Alright, Vice, let's do it. Now, did I give him... No, I didn't give him a different gun. Okay, so we are through the first phase of the Marbury Shore battle, so I'm going to end it off. And next time we're going to watch the enemy phase and see what they do. So see you then.